What's going on you guys? Thanks for stopping back to the channel. I'm your older than average gamer. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, upcoming update, uh, update 12 for Hell Let Loose coming to PC tomorrow and we're going to also talk a little bit about uh, when to expect that for consoles as well. Update 12 is going to be coming with a host of things that we knew about and maybe a handful of things that you weren't sure or didn't know were coming. Um, some of those things include VoIP improvements, which we're going to go through in a little bit, but one of those, I think it's one of the best things they're doing with um, quality of life improvements at least. Um, obviously the new map, uh, low light and night variants of popular maps in Omaha Beach with new modes. Uh, the new modes are going to be interesting too. That should be a lot of fun. So let's get into the uh, nitty gritty of what exactly is coming up with the QOL, the quality of life. I think one thing that a lot of players of this game can all agree on is that one of the things that was very annoying when you played this game, especially if you were trying to squad lead, is sometimes command channel uh, can be a complete clusterfuck. And a lot of yelling, a lot of volume that you don't want, and I know that the easiest way to get rid of that was simply to mute other squad leaders if you wanted, but heaven forbid they might actually have something useful to say, you would miss it. Um, this new overhaul for VoIP is, is a just a wonderful welcome uh, addition to this game. Uh, it's going to allow three different sliders in the uh, VoIP volume options uh, to individually control both uh, squad, proximity, and command chat channels. This is wonderful. I, I, I think a lot of people were waiting for this to be added to this game um, long ago than now, uh, or more recently than now, I should say, and uh, thank, thank God. So, big thumbs up for this. Another widely requested thing is also being added, uh, destroying wrecked vehicles. So uh, a lot of times you'd have a situation where you had uh, your armor trying to get down a, a crowded street and it had been blocked by another destroyed tank somewhere and then you'd find another way around. Well, no longer will you have to have that as your only option. You will now be able to blow up that wreck and get right through it. And you can do this a number of different ways, either using uh, obviously tank shells or AT guns, shoulder fired rockets, and of course satchels. Um, this these wrecks will still provide some amount of cover, but players will have to be a little more uh, conscious of the fact that these wrecks being uh, destroyable now uh, will only provide that small amount of cover for so long before uh, they'll be gone and you will have to find a new place to uh, protect your ass. Three new downloadable cosmetics are coming as well, uh, one for each faction currently. Um, personally, not a huge deal to me, but on top of this uh, visual addition, you're also going to be getting some new animations, uh, which should add a little bit to the immersion of this game. One of which uh, being uh, players will not sling the primary weapons onto their back uh, when switching to secondary or, you know, uh, rocket launcher, things like that. Um, which will be, uh, it'll be nice to see something like that happening. Again, it just adds another level of realism to the game. Um, and there'll also be a, a handful of visual quality improvements for night maps on things like muzzle flashes, rocket fires, things of that nature. So uh, some nice visual additions as well. Now for you console players, I know you're very interested to know when this is going to come for you. And uh, the answer, unfortunately, is we don't 100% know right now. But um, we shouldn't have to wait too long for this to come out on, on a console. And as we probably know already uh, when it does that will mark the beginning of parity between the console edition and the pc version meaning that anytime an update comes uh, both console and pc will be getting those uh, those update uh, additions at the same time again we don't know for sure when that's coming they've been pretty close to the hip too when looking through discord and twitter and other places uh, a lot of people ask when's this coming to console and they're like we'll talk about it uh on our next you know brief and they're they're not they're being very careful not to tell anybody um, anything because they don't want to get ahead of themselves and i think that's a fair thing to do um they do have a uh, quality of life patch for this latest update on console coming out next week which is going to fix a host of things and i think um it'd be fair to say that after after that patch and maybe one more patch uh to fix any other uh reoccurring bugs you might be able to start looking forward to this pc update uh being part of the console community so that's what i got for you guys today thank you so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video hope it was useful um if you enjoyed this please give it a like uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you have not already uh again thank you so much We'll see you later.